What is up guys and welcome to another video. We are finally going back to uh, thrift shopping. That is what we're doing today. Today is Friday. First we're going to go to the church and we're also going to drop this parcel off to the Australian Post. Now this is a mug that I sold last night for $200. Only paid two bucks for it. So uh, pretty uh, sweet find there. It's a pretty rare mug apparently. Um, $49.50. So yeah, we're going to go to the church now. We're going to go all the south side, hopefully find a whole bunch of stuff because inventory in my shop is running low. So time to get it back over 300. Let's go. Hopefully we'll find some fire. Hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, don't forget to subscribe and like this video, guys. Had some success for, so far, guys, finding books. Just picked up this uh, pop figure, Widowmaker. So it's uh, three bucks, so easy pick up right there. Just having a look, see if I can find any ink cartridges or... Uh, anything else exciting but so far this is it i'm gonna go through the books as well and hopefully uh, find a couple of items through there but so far so good today what is up guys hope you're all having a fantastic day it is saturday now we're not going to go garage sailing because there was barely anything on to be honest there was maybe one but we had to travel hella far for it so we're just going to go op shopping again because we were short on time yesterday we're gonna to go to the rest of the south side, maybe a couple of north sides. We'll just see what happens, how we are with time. Uh, but first we're gonna to go to Stone's Corner, pick up a couple of items. Yesterday we did find a whole bunch of stuff, especially a lot of books as well, which I've already listed in the store. So at the end of the video, I'll run through everything that I've uh, purchased over the weekend. It feels really good to be back thrifting again, guys, uh, because my store is getting nice and full again. So hopefully the, uh, the sales should pick up. But yeah, so we're off to the first stop shop. Fingers crossed we find some fire, but yeah, you just never know what you'll find. Check this out. Astro Boy, Astro Boy. Astro Boy, it's patch and everything like that. Made in Wonderland size large which is probably a medium now or a small because it's shrunk check out the back that looks sick i don't know if i should get this though because it's like a small now or a very small asian large but man that looks so good so we picked up a couple of items hey marla yeah. Like pretty much three pairs of RM, well actually four pairs of RM William items, one shirt and a Burberry tie. So let's go uh, to the Asthma Op Shop now. So Salvos was a great find. Marla is still technically a student, so we get 20% off, which was great because, great, oh my God, English. <laughs> I'm not gonna start this again. So yeah, pretty much um, my Salvos card isn't filled out, so we got 20% off anyway. We had three pairs of Aaron Williams pants, one jean, one chino, and the other one was like a, fe it felt felty in a way. I know two Aussie thrifters, you guys, um, had a pair something like that so if you can let me know i'll shoot you a message and ask about it in the uh private instagram group anyway and also got a red rm williams uh large shirt uh so all up works out like nine dollars something per item which i'm very very happy with um that's how much i'm willing to spend um i was willing to spend 15 but you know the, obviously the more you buy and if you find a couple of cheaper it works out to be cheaper that way uh so we're going to go to another salvos now uh, and hopefully use that well we, we will use the 20 percent off there and hopefully find a whole bunch of items i haven't got too much money left because i spent close to 300 bucks in two days just on inventory so yeah so this is probably going to be the last salvos depending on what we find in here we use Marla's 20 percent off card hopefully we find a whole bunch of stuff uh oh Marla's going to town did I show you guys the, the uh, car, by the way? That's a back seat. And if we turn this around, we have the radio, the clock. It's an automatic. I know it's an automatic, but oh well. Aircon, aircon's really nice too. It's a lot of room. That's a steering wheel. It's Marla's feet. But yeah, salvos, here we come. So we're gonna try. We're gonna try one more salvos. Um, I've got a little bit of money left in my other account, so we're going to go do that because inventory to me is very important. That's how we make money. The more inventory you have, the more you make. Uh, so we're going to go suss this out. We're going to ask him about the student discount card first um, before we purchase anything and see what they say. Because, um, yeah, I'm over it. Like, don't get me wrong, it's annoying, but yeah, just got to move on. You can't stress and get angry and frustrated over the little things it's just there's no point so off to the salvos it's gonna be a great day it's a beautiful day at that so 
so the lifeline delivered. Picked up the Guitar Hero PlayStation 3, no dongle. But this item here without the dongle and the game is still selling for about 70 bucks. So I uh, picked it up for 3 bucks because obviously there was no dongle. But I'll sell it for 70. Uh, so that's a decent find right there. What is up, guys? And we're back home, and I'm here with Marla. So she, this is her first sort of like screen time sort of thing. She has no idea what to do. <laughs> so guys, please be uh, careful on her. Now we're just going to quickly run through everything that I've purchased on Friday first before we do Saturday. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through everything, show you how much I've paid. You look like a rooster with it. Thank you. Um, I'm having a bad hair day. So yeah, um, first of all, we picked up a bunch of... Um, Shirts from Salvo, spent about 30 bucks on those, I'll give you that. Um, so the first one, I'll show you guys, is this Scotch and Soda. Ever since I sold that other Scotch and Soda, soda I've been uh, picking these up quite a bit. So um, it's got these, uh, like, a, how is it? like a belt or something. It's Like to hold it together. Yeah, yeah, so that's that there. <laughs> uh, so it's a plaid shirt, really nice actually, probably, is it my size? It's a large, so not quite. But yeah, that shirt there with the belt alone, it's, that's why I picked it up, because it was really nice. Uh, the next item from that is, of course, a typical RM Williams shirt, short sleeve. It's got buttons on the side, so I'm assuming somehow they fold up or anything. I don't know, it's, it's just random to have buttons there. Uh, but yeah, it's a, another plaid shirt. You've got the logo on the front, which you guys probably can't see. But yeah, it's a decent size shirt there. It's a regular fit. Easy, easy money there. Uh, probably aiming between 40 bucks to be honest guys. I'll list them for about 40, 45. And then either take uh, best offers or the items will just sell straight up. Uh, so this item here is a rod and gun. So it's a long sleeve rod and gun shirt. You've got of course the dog on the uh, front and this is the original fit. Pleasure. It's a different sort of material. It's kind of, it feels kind of weird. Like each and every single uh, Square has its own stitching, so it's a. Uh, it's a. Oh wow! I actually never knew. Noticed that. Like, that's, yeah. That's it's pretty cool. High quality. Every so, like, I'll show you here. They have individual stitching, so every white square has its own little stitch. So actually, a really nice shirt. Uh, and the last uh, shirt from that lot is another R. M. Williams. This is a semi fitted pink as hell shirt, but I think this is a women's. Yeah. Yeah, size 16. So this is a women's uh, R and Williams shirt. So if that's 30 bucks for those um, bad boys there, but I will be aiming anywhere between I reckon 38 to 45 dollars uh, for each and every single one of those, on top of the you know the free shipping. So after that, picked up these two bad boys here. Now they were red tags, and this week at Salvos, anything that's a red tag is uh, two bucks actually. Yeah. So if it was 15, anything. 15 and below is $2. So I ended up picking two pairs, actually correction, one pair of Tommy Hilfiger, which is just the chinos. Uh, so yeah, easy 45, 50 bucks, I'll list it at and take the best offer. And also picked up Wrangler. So I haven't sold too much in the way of Wrangler. This is the loose straight jeans, but I think I've sold maybe a couple and they've sold pretty quickly. So I'm gonna be giving it another shot um, again. And fingers crossed, I uh, make some money. Do you guys um? There's a interview with the Levi's reporter, um, Levi CEO, by the way, and he tells you never to wash your jeans. So uh, if you're washing your jeans, you're actually destroying and damaging the denim. So he recommends sticking them in a freezer overnight to get rid of the smell, the bacteria that causes the smell, and some sort of like vinegar and lemon spray to clean them. So uh, yeah, he hasn't washed his jeans. He washes them, he says, every three months because obviously he gets more and more jeans. But yeah, he washes his every three months or so. Um, so yeah, just a little fun fact there, guys. Uh, so at this next shop, I think we got this at the Footprints. Yes. Yeah, so... Really, really good shop. Of course, Marla discovered it as we are doing a new turn to the Salvos. Yeah. Um, she was like, hey, op shop. So we went and there. We, we have found some pretty decent items there. Uh, so I'll give you the receipt. Uh, we found one. a RM Williams, 
Aaron Williams? Aaron Williams. Aaron Williams. Aaron Williams. Uh, what was that? Oh, the vest. Yeah, yes. so the red vest, which sold for 50 bucks. Yeah. So we found that one there. How much did we spend? It was, what, 10? Yeah, so about 30, yeah, so we spent 35 bucks, but look, majority of that was books. Um, so we got this shirt here. This is just a basic North Face um, t-shirt. It is a size medium, so it's not my size. But yeah, it's just a basic North Face. Probably list that for about 30, 35 bucks. Easy, easy sale. People who love North Face know the brand will probably pick it up. The next one here is a vest, another vest. But this is a Columbia one, so we paid ten dollars for this one. It's a Columbia titanium vest, and it's got like the little fur. Oh, that feels really nice. Should we have crunched? Yeah. So well. um, if we unzip it, it's like a very nice pattern inside as well. Literally, just got a whole bunch of words. <laughs> she reckons it's a nice pattern. To me, it's, it's nice. just words. So, um, but hey, I'm. I'm That's good. You know, I'm not into this sort of stuff. I'm sure there's someone out there, especially around this time of the year, where it is getting really cold. Um, people will probably pick this up, and I reckon I should easily sell this. Uh, I reckon about sixty to seventy dollars, personally. In the condition that it's in, sixty to seventy bucks. It's got some sort of like, yeah, it's a belt sort of thing, so to make it thinner. But yeah, pay ten bucks for this little puffer vest with the little hoodie. And should be able to get 60, 70 bucks easy. So, we're at another Solos and we're picking up a couple of items and I was short of $10 to get the, the card signed. So, the lady and I were waiting for Marla <laughs> because I said pick one tie. Because um, she said, yeah, ties are two bucks and if you pick one, that'll make it over. Because, yeah, we did spend, what, $12.50? All up, yeah. So twelve fifty, because Marla was done. very undecisive and picked <laughs> two ties. So the first one, which I think was a good one, it's a Brisbane Lions tie. So you got the line there, and you got the line on the bottom, uh, which you probably can't see, but this is the Brisbane Lions colours. Someone's trying to call. Oh well, we'll ignore that. So that's that one. The next one as well is Hugo Boss. So this is a Hugo Boss tie. Now this is going to be my first attempt selling ties. Haven't sold ties before, so and you know I've had people have some pretty nice luck with them. So I'm gonna give the tie game a bit of a shot, you know, because I'm always looking to diversify and just experience and experiment uh, new things. So um, that's that there for the tie game. And the clothing items we found was one Ralph Lauren, your mouth. I think that's how you say it, but it's hella nice. You've got this stitching down the down the center of the shirt. Um, you've got, of course, the little man whacking the horse with the stick logo. Um, you know, animal cruelty, Ralph Lauren are apparently all about that. Um, and yeah, it's actually a pretty huge shirt. It's hella huge. So uh, long sleeve, it is basic blue, but probably 35 bucks for that one right there. Um, I'm giving it to Marla because she's good at following me. I'm just like, I just stuff it in. I have the. I don't care as long as it's in it. You should see my wardrobe. It's it's hella bad. Um, Our wardrobe is. Oh well, mine! I'm talking about my drawers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yours is neat and folded. Mine just like yeah, it's in there. I know where it is. <laughs> so um, yeah. And the last item from that is G Star Raw. Uh, pick that up. It is the. What is it? What is it? Contour High. So G Star Raw double three zero one Contour High jeans. Picked it up from that solo is there. Is that a ladies one or? Uh, this is women's. Yeah, this will be women's here. Mm -hmm. So that was only five bucks. So that's everything I found on Friday, guys. So let's just uh, jump straight into what I found on Saturday. <laughs> I don't know, are we supposed to say goodbye? No, like, I smile and then I cut the video. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hand Marla some items and she's going to explain how much I could possibly get for them and where we got them. So I'll hand her this pile first, which is the first store we went to. Show the people what we got. Go for it. Nah. Okay, yeah, that was quick. Awesome, guys. So uh, <laughs> this pile here we got from the Salvos. All right, so we went to Stone's Corner. I like to call it Stoner's Corner. 
um, but it's actually pronounced Stone's Corner. Now, I spent a decent amount of money today, pretty much to the point where I became broke. I had close to 300 in my account, and now I have zero. Uh, so that's a good inventory shopping day. Uh, so the first item I picked up, um, I'm gonna show you here. Actually, Marla found this. This is another tie, because Marla's now looking into ties. This is Burberry. Now, those of you who know Burberry as a brand, I'll just quickly stand up. Is it Burberry or Burberry? I don't know. Burberry? Burberry, Burberry London. Yeah, yeah, so it's London, so it's a very popular brand. I have sold pairs of jeans and shirts. Like, I had a basic t-shirt that just said Burberry and that sold for 40 bucks. I was just like, really? Yeah. It's sold? Okay, so uh, yeah, we're gonna try the tie. Um, paid three bucks for it. Uh, so it should... I have no idea how much you're going to get for it. Yeah, I don't really know how much ties go for. But I'm sure we'll figure it out. Those of you who know how much this is going to be worth, comment down below. Oh, by the way, don't forget to like this video and subscribe, guys, because uh, half of the people that watch this, and I know you're watching this right now, you're not actually subscribed, so please do us a favour. It would mean a lot to myself and Marla. Like and subscribe. Cheers. So that's that one. And pretty much, Aaron Williams is all they had there. Uh, we paid up for it, we paid like what, 46.20 because Marla had her 20% off student card, even though Yay. she's not a student anymore. <laughs> um, so we used the 20% off, um, so it's 46.20. So just a pair of R and Williams uh, Chino jeans. Uh, sold actually a couple of these already, so they're fine. Uh, this is the R and Williams jeans, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, R and Williams jeans. Oh. Them. I can't see from there. Oh, there guys. There we go. <laughs> actually a really nice colour too. So um, yep, just a pair of Arnold William jeans. Now this lot here, this next one is is weird. It's like a felt feeling style. I don't I don't know if it's moleskin. I have no idea what it is. Okay. Um, two Aussie thrifters. Now you mentioned that you picked up something that felt like this before. Um, I'll message you in our Instagram admin group and try and find out what it is because um, it feels weird. It's very, very soft. It's, yeah. it's 100% cotton. Something. Something. Yeah, so I'll have to look up the tags and everything like that. But yeah, this is going to be a new one. But I'll probably be shooting for the same price anywhere about, I reckon, 50, 60, I'll probably list it at 60 bucks. And uh, with the free shipping, see how I go there. Because I know a lot of you guys, and I've checked just a few stores. Mm. You're listing your jeans at like $69 and that plus postage. Yes, she makes sales, but you know, I do free post and for some reason it works. So. It would be very good for winter as well. Oh yeah, it's yeah, it's hella nice. nice. I wonder how it would be with the chafing though, because I know some jeans chafe. Mm. Uh, and the last item is just an RM Williams <laughs> all R. M. Williams. red shirt. So that is literally all we picked up. <laughs> Besides the Burberry is just RM Williams pants. And a red shirt. I was a bit iffy on this one being twelve bucks, but after all, the twenty percent off. Yeah, the twenty percent off and everything. It just worth. It was worth it because I'd probably get about forty, forty-five for this anyway, mm. being a larger, and it's just it's out there in your face. Very, very nice. Nice. So this one here, I picked this one up. This is an only item. So I walked in because, as you guys know, I had a bit of an issue with one of the Salvo stores, um, not accepting their the twenty percent off for the student card. So I went into the next one, I was like, hey, do you guys do this? She said, yes, straight away. Um, ended up picking this. Sorry, Marla found this. Uh, it's a guest shirt. Now, I've been um, avoiding guests as so, like the plague, really, because uh, it's just not working for me. It's not selling. I have a couple of pairs of guest jeans. But I'm going to give this a shot because Marla picked it out straight away. And uh, I don't know if you guys can see it. I'll come up here got some sort of like weird pattern it's like embroidered. yeah it's all embroidered around the shoulder area so it looks sort of cowboyish uh, it is a size 2xl and it's got this um, division yeah it's got like a division it's got 1000 yeah that that's not the date no. so it's got division 1201 out of 1203 so I wonder if there was only 1203 of these made who knows yeah, I reckon that's probably what it is. Uh, wear and enjoy guess. So, I got a funny feeling because it's a pearl snap. I reckon there was only 1,203 of these made. Uh, which, 
I don't know, I'll do the comms and have a look. Might increase the value of this item. But it looks all right. So, um, Doesn't it have the tags with it as well? Oh, yeah, it does, actually. You were showing me that. Brand new with tags. Yeah, um, yeah. That's probably the other reason why I picked it up. It does say 80 bucks here. Uh, so I'm probably going to list this about... What do you reckon? Uh, well, if there's like only a few of them made, I would obviously use this price, but also with the label. Yeah, so... Genuine well, we'll quality, do, do the research, but about 40 bucks, to be honest, for this one here. Give or take. Give yeah. or take, yeah. I might, because the tag, the price can be actually folded and snapped off. I might just do that and list it for 50, see what happens, you know, because we've got to make that money. I don't know. You'll come around, it's fine. <laughs> no. So, this, the items here is what I got from the, uh, the seller that didn't accept the 20%, which I was a little angry. Mm, at the end, but you move on at the end of the day, everything's cheap and we're all here to make money and it goes to a, a good cause, so to speak. Um, so, ended up picking the Sheward Packard pack, it's the extra large of the 950 and 951 plus paper. So, uh, this here, this bad boy, it is expired. I have noticed that it's July 2017. These are going for about $190 on eBay. Um, especially with the sold comps, that's how much it's sold for. So I'm probably going to list mine about 100, personally, mm. just because of it's expired, and someone should buy that. People um, still use expired inks; it still does work. So. Yeah, yeah. So we'll list it about 100 and see what we can get for that for the expired. But everything's in there. <laughs> so the next item from there is a Wrangler shirt. So this is like a plaid checkered shirt. Wrangler again, it's got the pearl snap. Um, oh, I'm sorry, can I get this like here? <laughs> there we go, so it's just a basic that's pearl snap. Embroidered stuff. Oh, that's cool, yeah, yes. so it's embroidered on the top with the Westpac logo. Um, Westpac. So, yeah, should be able to get easy 40, 40 bucks for that one. It's crazy in America, guys, where you see them selling shirts for like 20 bucks, and like over here, obviously, you've got to take into consideration the price difference of the currencies. That is why I list mine at a certain value. Now I ended up getting a deal. These are two Scotch and uh, soda shirts. Uh, one was listed, uh, one was priced at 16, the other one was priced at 10. I went up to them and said, hey, why is this one here, which is embroidered, like the one I sold for, how much did I sell it for, like 50, 60 bucks? I think it was 50 dollars. Yeah, but this one's got embroidered with patches, it's 10 bucks, and I said, well, why is this one 16 dollars? So they made it 10 dollars for me, Yay. out of good faith. Uh, but yeah, this one here, nothing really exciting about it, it's just basic scotch and soda shirt. Same with this one. I might actually end up popping these two together as a lot. Just because they're both the same size, aren't they? They're both exactly the same size, that is correct. Um, so I'll pop them together as a lot, uh, especially with this one here, I'll probably end up listing... Um, I don't know if I can see this. Probably, yeah, they, they know that it's scotch and soda. Uh, but yeah, I'll probably... I don't know, probably 60, because it's a small. I'll probably post it for about 60, 70 bucks and then take a best offer for probably 50 again on these two because they're smalls. They're, I, I don't really get smalls, um, but in this sort of situation, I picked them up because there's an opportunity for money to be made there. So that's those two. I'll give you this one. That's my folding skills. Uh, so this next shirt here is Nordica. Now this is a different sort of um, plaid checkered shirt. It's cotton, but it's it's kind of like a warmer, you know, like the, the, the flannel? Winter, uh, yeah. So like your flannel, so this is like a, a Nordica flannel shirt, plaid shirt. You've got the Nordica logo, of course, over here, but it's definitely a winter style shirt, being a flannel design. Um, and last but not least, just a basic Under Armour, uh, sort of like a dry fit <laughs> exercise shirt. Sold tons of these, not this exact color, but I've sold multiple different colors of this exact sort of style shirt uh, for about 35 to 40 bucks any day free ship. So pick that up, no dramas. Uh, so yeah guys, that's it. Uh, thank you so much for uh, hanging, hanging with us today. I know this is a little different seeing Marla here. Uh, if you want to be a part of the video, I want her to be a part of the video. Uh, because you know we're on this journey together, you know, and uh, doing this business alone kind of will drive you insane. So to have a partner here to help you along the way, 
it just makes life a lot easier. So yeah, my store is now officially over 300 items again. It was getting quite low, so this pile and the other pile should be able to increase the store and hopefully increase my sales. But yeah, I hope you guys got something out of this. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Like I said before, if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe. Don't forget to hit that like button, guys, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care. Thank you.